gosh. All right, guys. <clears throat> Jaden. I was fucking around with you a lot. And uh, I told you that it was a difficult process, not knowing whether you're going to be a hang around or not. But obviously, that's not the fucking case, okay? As I told Mona and Draco, if the ballers, people that I respect, even still now, even, even without the members that they've lost, they've built a big reputation. And uh, that's not just done by one person. So, Jaden, I know that uh, I want you to know that you're a part of this whole thing all the way, okay? And the fact that you're... Shut the fuck up, man! While you're able to hold yourself, not needing to wait for me to tell you what to do and everything, that's already a big step up to a lot of the people that are hanging around and trying to become associates and stuff, okay? So I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll just be honest with you, okay? The people that we recruit into Seaside, they need to have particular sets of skills. And you have one of them that we're lacking right now, and that's a reliable hacker. Especially when me and Bodhi are not able to uh, be around. We need somebody that can step up to the plate and perform and make sure that uh, the boys get the jobs done. Because we always have something that we need to get done. Okay? That's going to be your role. Mona, I'll be honest with you. I've known you for a long time now. At least two years. I remember when you first came into the city. You know, I know that it's been a, it's been a long journey for you. And... Uh, I'll be honest, uh, outside of Mariposa, who was in the south side for a little bit, I don't think there's any other person, any other woman in the city who could hold it down as, uh, as hard as you do. So even though you do have a fear of heights and then I know you're a softy at heart, I know when it comes to gang shit, when it comes to family shit and we gotta get something done, I know you can do it. And uh, that is the main reason that we've always had respect for you and the ballers. Draco. I know that a lot of people talk about you, about become, being the demon of the cul-de-sac and holding it down, going against Chamberlain by yourself and all that shit. That's all fine and dandy, man. We always want people that have that kind of skill set. But the thing is, it's just the same thing. Just when we recruited Julian. I had no idea. I'll be honest with you, okay? A lot of people knew Julian just the way they know you. And, uh, you know. It's never been about that. That's always going to be a bonus. I hope you know that, Draco. The, fact, the, the, thing that, the thing about you that I like the most is that I know that you hold your ground. You were the first person to ever make the Vagos pay. And uh, that kind of shit just will always remain impressive. I hope you know that there's a lot more to you than, than you're shooting because you do have a personality. And I, and I feel like leaving the south side was a perfect decision for you even if you were not to join seaside because people would be able to see just how well you could shine but the thing is guys i want to i want to talk about something real quick all right being a seaside associate fuck it being in any gang being any family that's as big as seaside or any other crew that's growing right now it's difficult there's a lot of people uh you know we're trying to span across different time zones do a lot of different things make some noise for ourselves and i'll be honest with you guys just like for julian when he when he when he goes into na and i'm not around for you for him i feel very bad you know and uh, that goes for a lot of you and at the same time a lot of the associates and i'll be honest even the full members have a hard time grasping just how much we have to work together you know it's not it's not easy guys like today, we got called up for uh, for basically a mission. I had no idea that it was going to happen. And uh, sometimes you, you're not able to bring the best people and you only have the people around you and you got to make do, right? It's, uh, it's a tough situation, man. It's not easy. I'm going to tell you right now that there'll be people complaining about you, bitching about you behind, their, behind your back. But hey, what family doesn't do that, right? I'm sure in the ballers, you guys have to go through a lot of the same things. And that is one of the reasons why... You know, getting two leaders of the ballers as associates, believe it or not, is uh, funnily enough going to be a good thing because you guys know how everything works, right? That's the, that's the thing, guys. But it's always back to square one. We have to work together, and we're always going to disagree with each other, man. But if we all have the same goal of making Seaside stronger and better, I don't think we can fail. The only time we fail is when we start looking at each other and trying to make uh, one other person look bad so that we can do something, you know? And I'm saying that in general, okay? Because everybody kind of forgets the point sometimes of how we're trying to work together, right? 
I'm just, that's our homie, man. Is there our hey. locals, by the way? Hey. Yeah. You guys, you I'm guys get okay. Yeah, let me yeah. let, let me finish off. Let me finish off, right? It's fucking difficult, guys. It's never gonna not be difficult. The only way it would be easier is if I cut this whole family into fucking ten people, and I don't want to do that because I enjoy being able to wake up and knowing that my family can take care of me the entire time I'm around, and uh, hopefully that becomes something that people ingrain in themselves and. Hopefully in the future, no matter when you wake up, be it AU, EU, NA, everybody fucking works together, you know? And I want to say one more thing, all right? Just to everybody here. If you've got a problem with someone, or if you've got a problem with a situation, and you're not voicing it out, and instead you're fucking bitching or talking about something in the background, no one's ever going to be able to fix that, you know? If I'm going to jabs with certain people that I think uh, deserve it, and I people that I think need it, and you're not saying anything about it, like, hey, Benji, I'd love to be able to do this, man. You think I could go join the next job, just like how Reggie does, how Shano does? You know, that'll be, that'll be a step forward. But ultimately, we need to work together. And, uh, you know, just like every family, we've got a lot of problems. Now, knowing all this, ladies and gentlemen, the two or uh, three people standing in front of me today, do you accept the alpha of becoming Seaside Associates? Yes, I do. I accept. Draco? I very much do. Jaden? Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Hell congratulations. Yeah. Welcome to the family. Some people are about to hand you some flags. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. All right. Drake.